so it looks like Demon Fall is finally getting an update after so long, it is finally here. So I'm going to start off by going over some of the small changes that I've noticed personally, and that's going to be the font. It's a very small change, but I definitely noticed it. The font, the whole, every, every word in the game has changed to a different font. I don't remember what the font was previously, but I do know they changed it to a more roundish cartoony looking one which I personally like it's easier to read but it's just gonna take some getting used to now the next thing I noticed is the inventory they have changed the way the inventory works you can now drop items in stacks actually and the way to do that you just drag the little bar and determine how many you want to drop you can search for items in the inventory now and also items now have a cap I know I'm pretty sure they used to have a cap before but now you can actually see the cap specifically for gems and I think it's like swords or whatever 999 is the cap for those things and then gems it's 25 sadly it is only 25 but I should also know the inventories have all been wiped across the board everyone's inventory is just empty now unless it's like a game pass item or something and i'm pretty sure the biggest reason they did that is because in the past there was a big problem with duping people would dupe things all the time that just led to people having like thousands of perfect crystals and thousands of white potions and all that so they kind of didn't have a choice they kind of had to wipe it which sucks for people that weren't even involved they just have all their items removed but it had to happen everyone it happened to everyone so everyone's in the same boat not a big deal now moving on to the big changes you can see there has been leaks well not really leaks they've publicly announced uh, the new breathing styles that are going to be coming out and it's actually only one sorry there's a one new breathing style coming out and one rework for a breathing style so i'll go over the new one as you can see here on screen it's actually the flower breathing that people have been requesting for a while but you know that those those requests have been going to deaf ears because they have kind of abandoned the game for a long time but they are back now this is their type of redemption arc you can even see in the group they're saying how they're coming back from all this so this is amazing but you can see the flower breathing style is actually pretty interesting it reminds me of some of the older breathings where things aren't too complicated it actually has it, it's some pretty good moves and I haven't gone too into it yet, I haven't even tried it out yet. So I'm not really there to speak on that part, but just seeing it, it looks like it's a pretty good breathing style. Now moving on to the rework for the Shockwave breathing art, which is one of my favorite- not sorry, not breathing art, the Shockwave blood demon arts. It's one of my favorites. I have like 10 different accounts and one of my main accounts is that one, because it's just- it's, it's such a good breathing style, and paired with Konroji, it's just- it's so good. Anyways, they're mainly updating the hitbox and the movement, so the little teleport dash you do on that one move, it doesn't teleport anymore, it's just sort of a dash. And the kick barrage has a much bigger hitbox to make up for its new effect, visual effects. So yeah, I'm really excited to see whenever that comes out, because it, again, it is one of my favorite Blood Demon arts. Now they also mentioned they're going to be changing some things with Ranked, and they're also going to be adding some new game modes. Now this game mode is kind of like... A mini games thing where people just come in and then they participate in a bunch of different types of modes so i imagine there's gonna be team modes juggernaut maybe where one player is all buffed up and everyone has to go fight him just a bunch of different modes like that and probably some free-for-alls too i imagine so that's really exciting honestly i love games that have that because it just adds so much replayability to the game you can just hop in go in that game modes just the fun game modes that's what they're calling it and you could just hop out and just have your fun, basically. Like, actually have fun playing the game instead of just running around and doing whatever, you know? Now, moving on, they are going to be fixing a lot of the bugs that we've had issues with for the past while. I think they did fix a lot of the loading issues that we've had. Th those were some of the most annoying bugs to have to deal with, where your game just simply wouldn't load and you just had to leave and rejoin until that thing would load for you. I think some NPC bug fixes, a bunch of stuff like that, and they're still on, they're still on it. They're still working on a bunch of bug fixes and all that stuff. Now, what I'm hoping to see really is some balance fixes, so, like, especially rock breathing. That thing needs some balancing like right away. I hope they just go through everything and just balance everything equally. I know 
balancing isn't that easy, but hopefully they're going to actually start looking into it more because before they were just absent. And also, hopefully they find a way to patch some exploits because exploiters have been really running amok in this game. I know Roblox updated recently where exploiters, like a lot of the exploiters were basically purged because their thing wouldn't work, like Synaptis X, I'm pretty sure. But there are still some people that have some cheat softwares and stuff like that. So hopefully, just implement some type of anti-cheat, hopefully, to deal with these exploiters. Because it's so annoying going to an NPC and just seeing some guy, like, teleport around him and just killing him when you're just trying to grind. So yeah, we're hoping to see that. And also, I'm hoping to see some codes. Because we have waited a while. I feel like the people deserve some codes. Give us like five white potions and five perfect crystals and we'll be good. Well, you'll be forgiven. Actually, no, make that ten perfect crystals. I feel like that's minimum. Anyways, yeah, I'm hoping to see some more things to come, which they will be coming in the future. So if you guys want me to update you guys uh, whenever these updates come out or, and all that stuff, I'm pretty sure Flower Breathing has already came out. But the game modes thing, I don't think that's out yet. So if you guys want another update video in the future, be sure to like and subscribe, please, because we are so close to 8K. And honestly, we've just been, we've been shooting up in subscribers. I feel like I was at 5K not long ago and now I'm already at 7.8. Like Jesus. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for all the support you've been showing recently. It's, it's so amazing. And yeah, that's about it. So have fun with the people that haven't realized this update's come out. Go play the game. Show support to the dev team because they definitely need it after not working on the game for so long. It's going to be amazing if you guys show them support. I know they would appreciate it so much. And the updates will come out a lot quicker if they are seeing all this positive backlash from this. So I'll see you guys later. And again, thanks for watching.